good morning students children good morning how are you all did you study last week's portion last week under grammar we had studied or we learned adjectives do you remember adjectives what's an adjective what we studied last week words which describe a noun is called adjective today we are going to learn another thing the adverbs today we are going to study the adverbs this is one among parts of speech adverbs what is given in our book is as definition for an adverb an adverb is a word that adds something more to the meaning of the verb or or in a very simple manner we can learn it in this manner words that describe a verb is called an adverb words that describe a verb is called an adverb what uh, what is an adjective that we studied last week words which describe a noun is called an adjective adverb words that describe a verb is called an adverb okay let's see there are many kinds of adverbs eight kinds of adverbs are here adverbs of time adverbs of place adverbs of manner adverbs of frequency adverbs of degree interrogative adverbs sentence adverbs and relate to adverbs now let us examine the following sentences three sentences are given let us see why they have given and what is in it vijay runs fast vijay runs fast second sentence this is a very sweet mango this is a very sweet mango ajit sorry the third one ajit reads quite clearly ajit reads quite clearly in sentence 1 the word fast shows how is it not how vijay runs he runs fast if you ask the question how you will get the answer there in that sentence fast vijay subject runs verb and fast to get the word fast we have to ask a question that is how okay and so it is called in what manner in what manner then in uh, how does vijay run he runs fast the adverb fast modifies the verb and uh, sorry what modifies the verb runs runs then in sentence 2 very very shows how much this is a very sweet mango in that sentence very shows how much this is a very sweet mango how much or in what degree the mango is sweet is it not what is the degree what is the manner in which the mango is sweet with whether it is little sweet or very sweet or no sweetness at all for that a question is um, rice how much sweetness is it not very uh, that is very modifies the adjective sweet then in sentence 3 quite shows how far where quite comes ah third sentence tells like this ajit reads quite clearly this quiet what's the meaning of this quiet is it the word quiet which teacher tells in the classroom 
no this quiet spells differently q u i t e this is a quite good place quite comfortable journey it is in such sentences this quiet comes q u i t e quiet the other quiet what the teacher tells in the classroom what it is all the come on children keep quiet the spelling of that quiet is q u i e t what is given here in our textbook is q u i t e so it is said here that in sentence 3 quiet shows how far or to what extent ajit reads clearly that is quiet modifies the adverb clearly then a word that modifies the meaning of a verb an adjective or another adverb is called an adverb the words fast very and quiet are therefore adverb the next kinds of adverbs adverbs of time first let us see adverbs of time adverbs of time point out the time of an action and answer the question when this call this adverb of time points out or tells the time of an action okay it tells that time of an action and so what question should be asked when when did that action take place is it not example the time took place a few years ago so there ago comes the next one is since a particular time in the past the next one before na munnale today that is today inneki yesterday at what time when did the action take place yesterday today day before yesterday or few years back etc is the question sorry etc are the answers what we give to the question when and that the answer to the question when is called as adverb of time yesterday it is a time eppo when yesterday the next tomorrow now then already soon one till early late nowadays etc these are the words we use when we want to tell a time when an action had taken place okay example that day he arrived late that day he arrived late here the word late is called adverbs of time second sentence or example we shall now begin to work when is it not the previous uh, sentence you see that day he arrived late that day when did he arrive late he arrived at home lately next one we shall now begin to work when shall we begin when eppa namu work start pannala now okay those are the answers to the question when in order to get the ad why not to get the time of action next adverbs of place adverbs of place indicate where the action takes place and answers the question where children adverb of time what question you have to ask when for adverb of place what question you have to ask for, to get an answer where understand where example here there everywhere nowhere away near far anywhere in out up down beside below above etc where it has taken place there where far away where beside the river where did it take place out below above is it not all these are answers to the question where 
If you ask where, it becomes adverb of place. Next example. He went up the hill. Where did he go? Up the hill. Next, all things fell down. Where did it fall? It fell down. Understand? Mainly you keep in your mind adverb of place. Huh? Where? <coughs> Answer to the question where is the adverb of place. In the same way, adverb of time, when is the question? Okay, come down. Adverbs of manner. Adverbs of manner tell us how the action took place or the manner in, manner in which it took place. Yepri Nadandadu Manner In what manner it has taken place Some adverbs of manner are Bravely Fast Badly Quickly Gladly Honestly Understand how It took place Some adverbs of manner are Bravely How did he do that work? Bravely then, how did he run? Fast. Etc. Understand? So, you must know how the action took place. So, what kind of question we have to use there? How? The next one is badly, quickly, gladly, honestly. How did he do that action? Honestly. Like gladly. Okay, children. Next example, let us see. The soldier was badly wounded. How was the soldier wounded? Very, very badly. Or you should tell, no, in a very simple manner, narrowly he escaped. So, he was wounded in a silly manner. Okay, next sentence. I will come to your house directly. I will come to your house directly. Directly. How? How is he going to come to your house? Directly he is, he is going to come. Understand? The action takes place how? The next is adverbs of frequency. Adverbs of frequency show the frequency of the action and answers the question how often? How often? Yepidi, yevlo adikkadi. How often? Understand? Often we know the meaning of often is adikkadi. Ava yevvalo adikkadi kāriyengal nadandirukku. To know that, we are using adverbs of frequency. Some adverbs of frequency are always, sometimes. The next three words are negative. Never, rarely, hardly. The next word, usually. Next is often. Then daily, normally, every day, etc. What is the adverb of frequency? How often it has taken place? Never it has taken place. Always it used to take place. Usually what happens? It happened. Understand? That should be the answer. So to what question? You would get adverb of frequency? How often? Example, he never comes on time. He never comes on time. Never. I visit my grandma occasionally. I used to meet her occasionally. Then I always sleep early. That means I, that is my habit. Every day, whenever I sleep, it used to be very much early. Earlier. Understand? Next. Next um, page, adverb of degree. Adverbs of degree are also called intensifiers. They answer the question, how much? The adverbs of degree are very, too, so, almost, enough, entirely, hardly, barely, extremely, really, only, quite, etc. Understand how much? What is the? What is the measurement of measurement? What is the measurement or what is the degree? Little or more 
or the most. Understand? That is the thing we want here. Adverb of degree. How much? Evolve. The adverbs of degree are very too, very too, so, almost, enough, entirely, hardly, barely, extremely, really, only, quite, etc. Understand? Example, she is too good to hurt anyone. She is too good. Too. How much? Ramba. To tell that Ramba, here too. T-O-O. That I am extremely sorry for the delay. Extremely. It talks about the degree only. More than this, above this word extreme, there is no other word. That is why that word is used there. The high top, top most degree. I am extremely sorry for the delay. Then I know him quite well. I know him quite well. Our journey was quite comfortable. Quite good place this is. Is it not? For, for all these sentences, the spelling is Q-U-I-T-E. Keep that near mind. I know him quite well. Means I know about this person for a long time. How much? Ramba nala. Okay, next is interrogative adverbs. Interrogative. Interrogation. When you tell that word, what comes to your mind? Questions. Questions. W H questions. That main questions. Which are used with the letters W H H O. Yes, with these words, such kind of main questioning words starts. Interrogative adverbs are used to ask questions about time, manner and place. Interrogative, we are using questions, main question, main question words for any purpose. Understand, we can talk, we can use these questioning words to know the time, to know the manner, to know the place, etc, etc. Example, when does your school start? When does your school start? When? Understand, when becomes the interrogative or the questioning word, questioning adverb, when. Next is, how did you find my house very easily? Every country uh, there also, as it is how, I told you main question words are all interrogative adverbs. When and how talks about the questions, questioning words. So it is called as interrogative adverbs. Next is sentence adverbs. Sentence adverbs modify the whole sentence. What kind of sentences it modifies? Evidently, fortunately, luckily, certainly, perhaps, clearly, surely. Example, obviously, it is too cold to go out. Yes, really, it is now very, very cold to go out. Nobody would prefer to go out. They all want to be inside the house. And then next, fortunately, it didn't rain during the program. Understand, fortunately means luckily. So, sentence adverbs. Obviously, then fortunately, it didn't rain during the program time. Fortunately means luckily. It did not rain during the program time. If it had rained, it would have become completely complicated. Understand? Example when the obviously and fortunately. Obviously, truly, surely it is too cold to go out. Next is fortunately, it didn't rain during the program. Next, relate to adverbs. Relate to adverbs also gives the same kind of words which we saw in interrogative adverbs. Okay, let us see now. Relate to adverbs. Relate to adverbs like relate to pronouns refer back to their antecedent. Look here. What here the author tells us. Uh, relate to pronouns. Refer back to their antecedent. What are the words used here? When, where, why. When, where and why. 
एग्जाम्पल ही केम वेन आई वॉज ईटिंग वेन डेन ही कम ही केम वेन आई वॉज ईटिंग देन शी विजिटेड मी बिकॉज शी वॉन्ट टू बोरो मनी वाई डेट शी विजिट शी विजिटेड मी बिकॉज शी वॉन्ट टू बोरो मनी शी वॉन्ट टू बोरो मनी फ्रॉम मी दैट इज वाई शी विजिटेड सो वॉट क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क टू दैट सेंटेंस वाई द प्रीवियस सेंटेंस ही केम वेन आई वॉज ईटिंग वेन डिड ही कम ही केम वेन आई वॉज ईटिंग children now we have come to the we have come to the end did you all understand what i taught i wanted to explain it more and so i what i could do i did did you all understand today uh at 9 o'clock we'll meet understand at that time you have to tell me or ask me what are the uh, portion what you could not understand etc etc okay all is, all heard now what is it okay now be ready to study adjectives and verbs all the previous the other previous parts of speech we have already studied from the school this portion and the next portions what we learn through online that would be asked and so please listen the class and sometimes if it is necessary i would send it through whatsapp what you have to learn etc now did you all understand about uh, kinds of adverbs children kinds of adverbs this week last week adjectives then next uh page we have our homework next page we have our homework point out the adverbs in the following and say what class each belongs to and what each modifies i'm reading the questions you have to find out the answer and send it to me today or tomorrow either today itself if, if it is if you can do it it is better to finish it today itself okay listen listen to the questions i have heard this before dash second one when did he come three the dogs ate most greedily four that is well said that is well said five raman played most magnificently then six they won the match yesterday Seven. The patient is much worse today. Eight. She arrived a few minutes ago. The uh, next one. The railway station is far off. Ten. He speaks very slowly. Understand the first ten questions from the first exercise. Next exercise. Fill in the blanks with suitable adverbs. Janet is smiling. Dash. She looks dash cute. She looks very cute. Then three dash. Are you residing at? Where are you residing at? Is it not? Then four. He takes leave dash. Five. We shall visit the zoo dash. Six. God is there dash. Seven. We will dash win. Eight. I am dash sorry. Nine. The lazy beggar walks dash. Tenth one. She spoke to him. She spoke to him. Look here. The in the previous exercise we had ten sentences. In the next Roman number two, next part also we had two questions. Read well, understand it, and write the answers and come. If you can't and uh, understand, please. uh you can ask me once again okay children okay learn always in order to by heart or in order to understand and keep in your mind please read repeatedly these kinds of adjectives kinds of adverbs etc so that it will be familiar with you understand you for keeping you familiar fam- to keep it familiar keep on reading and 
learn what we have taught you okay children study well nothing more to tell and go through the grammar portions and then under non detail you must have a practice of reading each chapter many times so that you will be able to understand well everything okay thank you very much for listening to my class study well what all we are taking thank you children okay thank you